Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about my own personal story of how I discovered my own non-binary gender identity. I've been talking a lot about gender, sort of in the abstract, and I think it's time for me to like open up a little bit. I'm kind of nervous to do this, but I want to talk about like how this was like for me. From a young age, I can remember having various degrees of tension with gender. One of the things that I remember thinking very early, like pretty early in elementary school, was feeling a sense of irritation at the concept of gender, and gender roles, and gender norms. Like, I remember looking around me in elementary school, and there were a lot of things that other people seemed to be doing that just didn't seem to make any sense to me at all. And one of the things that I remember being irritated by was how differentiated people were into boys and girls, and how boys would dress a certain way, and girls would dress a certain way. And I saw these things were kind of enforced by the peer culture in particular, like uh, especially boys would get bullied for crossing gender norms. Um, but like, I also remember being consciously aware of things like uh, pronouns, gendered pronouns, like he and she as a kid. I had never heard of the concept of gender-neutral pronouns, but I remember being sort of annoyed that when people would talk about each other, they were making all these like labels and assumptions. I didn't know how to articulate it like this, but I remember being annoyed at like, how you needed to use gender to refer to people in language. Oh. I also remember disliking filling out forms, like when you'd have those multiple choice standardized tests and things like that, sometimes they would make you fill out male or female, and, and I would think, like, what is this relevant to anything? And sometimes I would leave it blank. And I remember wishing that there could be, like, another box I could check. Uh, so, these are some of the things that I remember from my childhood. Uh, I still had never heard of the concept of non-binary gender, though. And I still thought of myself as male. I thought of myself as a boy. And I remember encountering the idea of transsexuals. I definitely heard the word transsexual before I heard the term transgender. Uh, I, I definitely prefer the term transgender now. But I heard this idea of transsexual, and I first was introduced to it with people talking about sex reassignment surgery, like people getting surgery to change their uh, genitalia. And at the time, like, I just thought, like, why would anyone want to do that? I mean, like, I hated doctors as a kid, and the idea of surgery is pretty unappealing to me, it's still unappealing to me. Uh, I just didn't understand why someone would do that. And also, people reinforced that. They reinforced the idea that it was weird or strange. And I think I internalized some of that. I think I internalized a lot of this transphobia in that I was thinking of people who would do something like that as kind of like weird in a bad way. And that was really the only exposure I had had to the idea of transgender people until, probably until I got to college. Maybe I encountered a few things on the internet before then, but uh, the internet was a lot younger back then, and there wasn't as much good info, and it was harder to find. So, it was a long time before I encountered the idea of uh, being transgender, and that identity being more than like a desire to change your genitalia. Uh, so when I first started encountering this, this idea of being transgender as an identity, and I, and I saw written definitions of it, I started thinking about it, and I started questioning, like, am I transgender? Because I definitely remember all these things that and, and like at the time when I was questioning, I, I was feeling these tensions. Like I felt a lot of tensions with the gender roles. One of the things that I remember feeling from a young age, I wanted to be able to wear skirts and dresses. I don't know exactly why, I just maybe aesthetically, it just seemed like cool to have like a flowy thing that was like free and like, I just thought that would be cool. I liked how it looked, uh, I wanted to be able to wear it. And it was, pretty clear to me that it was not socially acceptable in the circles that I grew up in to do that. Like, um, my parents would talk about it as if it were kind of weird in a bad way, 
and especially I felt like my peer group and some other like adult authority figures would talk about this kind of thing like cross-dressing in this disapproving way. Uh, there was a lot of this like low-level bullying that I experienced directly and also witnessed where like basically mostly boys would put down other boys, sometimes girls would do it to boys too, but it was usually boys on, on boys. Uh, they would put down boys for doing anything feminine, and there was this idea that like being feminine was weak. It's like uh, I would get called and see other people called like a pussy and a sissy and a faggot and called gay. Like it was all wrapped up like homophobia, transphobia, sexism. It's all wrapped up together in this general like shaming of femininity. Um, so anyway, I wanted to wear dresses and skirts, but I didn't really explore that until college. I bought a few skirts then. I also wanted to explore patterns. Like, just to give you an example, I recently bought a phone case. This is my phone case. I love rainbow polka dots. This pattern, it's like an aesthetic that is outside the range of typical, like, male expression in our society. And I remember feeling like an affinity for these sorts of patterns as a kid, but like, it was, I was super closeted, like, I was afraid to express myself that way. So like, outwardly I was like, my favorite color is blue, and like, you know what I mean? I don't know. It was just like, I was, was not really expressing that, not really in touch with that part of myself. Um, so, so like, fast forward, and I, I'm starting to come into contact of like, transgender identities, and I'm like, am I trans? And I would read the descriptions of what it meant to be transgender, like there are these definitions of transgender, and I'd be like, that seems like it really fits me. But then all the examples that I saw of people being transgender and like, like living it out, they were all binary transgender people. And like there's this phrase that I've heard like, man trapped in a woman's body, woman trapped in a man's body, that didn't resonate with me at all. Like I felt kind of indifferent to my body, I felt like it was kind of accidental, and I didn't really feel like a woman, didn't really feel like a man, I just thought this whole concept of gender was stupid, and I wanted to be able to express myself however I wanted, and I didn't want to be constrained by these arbitrary rules. Um, and I wanted to break down the culture of sexism, and this culture of like homophobia and transphobia that I grew up in. Um, so, I don't know, like, I wasn't like, really, like, like, I didn't feel like I was trans. And I'd never encountered someone who openly identified as anything other than male or female. For years and years and years. It first happened on Tumblr that I saw people with these other identities, like non-binary identities. And I started seeing a lot of them. I saw people who identified as gender fluid, I saw people who identified as genderqueer. Uh, I had heard the term genderqueer, and incidentally, like, I thought of myself as genderqueer long before I questioned my gender identity. I didn't know that genderqueer could be a gender identity. I still thought of myself as male, but genderqueer. But I started seeing people, and they're like, genderqueer is my identity. Like, I am not male, I am not female, I'm genderqueer. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, I could do that too. And I started thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, like trying it on in my head, and I'm like, that's me. You know, like, like when I thought about it, I was like, I don't feel male, I don't feel female either, I feel something else. I feel weird and different, uh, and I don't feel like I fit into this binary. And I saw a lot of other terminology, like I saw the term agender, I started meeting people, finally, I was seeking people out, I started meeting people in person, I started posting more openly on my Facebook about questioning my gender identity, and people started like coming out of the woodwork. Like I shared, I filled out this gender unicorn chart, which I would recommend looking up and uh, filling out if you haven't explored that yet. I shared that on Facebook, and after sharing it, it's just like, people started contacting me, and they're like, hey, I'm non-binary too. Two people I know uh, approach me like this. Uh, a couple people who are trans with binary identities approach me too, and they're like, well, I identify with this binary identity, but 
I think I share a lot in common with your experience, and I don't necessarily feel like a full allegiance to this binary identity. And I was like, whoa, this is, this is really interesting. Uh, so these people like came out and I started connecting with them. I think that seeing other people with these identities helped me to realize like what my identity is. Uh, so now, where am I? Uh, I definitely think of myself as transgender. That does not mean that I necessarily want to pursue any kind of like medical intervention to change my body. Uh, I really like my body. I think it, it certainly doesn't fit the like manly man stereotype. It has certain masculine attributes and it's more feminine in certain other ways. Uh, and I like it. I think I'm pretty cute and like yay. Uh, but I definitely don't feel like an allegiance or affinity with male identity and I actually feel quite a great deal of discomfort with it. Uh, I have felt that for a long time uh, and I think it's like encountering this idea of non-binary identity and embracing that has helped me to articulate like how and why I feel that discomfort. I'd love to talk about that a little bit more in the future, uh, but this is already probably a pretty long video uh, and I want to get all this out there. So that's where I am right now. I identify as non-binary and genderqueer. Uh, I do not identify as male, even though I was assigned the male sex at birth. I've recently asked people to use gender neutral pronouns like they, them to refer to me. I'm not going to get offended if you call me he. I'm not going to get offended either if you call me she, but I would strongly prefer if you would use they, them, their to refer to me. I know it can be a little bit work if you're not familiar with it, but uh, yeah, that's what I would ideally like. Um, I'd love to answer questions. If you have any questions, I think that would make it easier for me to talk more about this stuff. Like, is there something you don't understand about my experience or something you'd want to hear me talk about more? I'd love to do that. Um, yeah, and I hope to talk about this kind of thing more. Thank you.